Hello everyone, our lesson for today is all about adding and subtracting fractions. First is we're going to discuss about adding and subtracting similar fractions. When we say similar fractions, these are fractions having the same denominators. How we're going to add or subtract similar fractions? The rule said that in adding or subtracting similar fractions, add or subtract their numerators, then copy the common denominators. To understand a rule, we have some examples. Okay, the first one is 2 fifth plus 1 fifth. Okay, 2 fifth and 1 fifth here is a similar fraction. Why? Because they have the same denominator as 5. So, all we have to do is we're going to add their numerators, 2 plus 1. The answer is equal to 3, then just copy 5 as our denominator. So, we have our final answer, which is equal to 3 feet. Another example. Okay, 6 7 minus 2 7. Okay, again, the same denominators. We're going to subtract the numerators because we have a subtraction sign here. So 6 minus 2, the answer is equal to 4 over 7. Okay. Then analyze if there is any common factor between 4 and 7. Is there any common factor between 4 and 7? Okay, yes, there's none. So, 4, 7 is the lowest train. Okay, next example. Okay, our next example is equal to 4 tenths minus 2 tenths. Okay, they have the same denominator, subtract the numerators only. 4 minus 2, the answer is equal to 2, then copy 10 as our denominator. Then, look at the fraction, 2 over 10. Is there any common factor between 2 and 10? Okay, yes, both numerator and denominator are divisible by 2. So, so, 2 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 1. And 10 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 5. Our final answer now is equal to 1 feet. Okay, another example. A12 plus 4 12. Okay, 8 plus 4, the answer is equal to 12 over 12. 12 divided by 12 is equal to 1. Okay, 1 whole is our final answer. Okay, next is adding and subtracting dissimilar fractions. When we say dissimilar fractions, these are fractions having different denominators. Okay, how to add or subtract the similar fractions? Okay, our rule said in adding or subtracting the similar fractions, use the cross product method. Okay, what is a cross product method? We're going to learn that one in our examples. Okay, we have some examples in adding or subtracting the similar fractions. Okay, the first one is... Okay, 3 fifths plus 1 fourth. Okay, 3 fifths and 1 fourth, we call this one as the similar fractions because they have different denominators, 4 and 5. So, the rule said that we're going to use the cross product method. Okay, how to use the cross product method? We're just going to multiply 3 times 4, the answer is equal to 12. Then, 5 times 1, the answer is equal to 5. And the last one is 5 times 4, the answer is equal to 20. After that, we're going to add the numerators. 
12 plus 5, the answer is equal to 17 over 20. Okay, is there any common factor between 17 and 20? Yes, there's none. And 17 over 20 is our final answer. Okay, another example. Okay. 5 ninth minus 2 seventh. Okay, again, we have different denominators. Okay, we're going to use the cross product method. Okay, just multiply 5 times 7, the answer is equal to 35. And 9 times 2, the answer is equal to 18. Then 9 times 7, the answer is equal to 63. And after that, we're going to, to subtract the numerators okay that is 35 minus 18 the answer is equal to 17 then just copy our denominator 63 so our final answer is 17 over 63 another example 4 8 plus 2 6 Okay, here in this example, we're going to reduce to its lowest term first before we're going to apply the cross product method. Okay, 4 8 and 2 6, that is equal to 1 half plus 1 third. Okay, 4 and 8 are both divisible by 4. 4 divided by 4, the answer is equal to 1. 8 divided by 4, the answer is equal to 2. And why it is 1 third? Because... 2 and 6 here are both divisible by 2. 2 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 1. 6 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 3. Our new fractions now is equal to 1 half and 1 third. Okay, this is the time that we can use the cross product method. That is 1 times 3, the answer is equal to 3. 2 times 1, the answer is equal to 2. And 2 times 3, the answer is equal to 6. Then we're going to add our numerators 3 plus 2 the answer is equal to 5 over 6 okay this is our final answer another example 8 tenth minus 2 seventh okay 8 times 7 the answer is equal to 56 10 times 2 the answer is equal to 20 10 times 7 the answer is equal to 70 then we're going to subtract our numerators, 56 minus 20, that is equal to 36, then copy 70, but 36 over 70 is not yet in its lowest term, so we're going to find the GCF, which is equal to 2. 36 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 18, 70 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 35. Then, is there any common factor between 18 and 35? There's nine. So 18 over 35 is the final answer.